Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So Nothing is doing a great job. Since the Nothing Phone 2A have been released, we have already received 5 OTA updates, including the one which they have rolled out today. In this video, we'll talk about every new change or features what they bring on the table for Nothing Phone 2A. So without wasting any more time, now let's get started. Here I have my Nothing Phone 2A. I've already updated the device to latest build. Let me show you about section. If you see Nothing OS version, now it's 2.5.6, which is based on Android 14. And this latest build comes with 1st May 2024 security patch. Build number is 1818. If you guys still haven't received the OTA notification, then just go to settings, system and check for the system update. I received this update few minutes ago and you can see the update size. It is around 115 MB, which brings some new features, improvements and bug fixes. Now before moving ahead, if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys, then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. I was about to release the full in-depth review of Nothing Phone 2A, but now again I have to test this device for a day or two as my primary phone. But don't worry, before the review, I'll do a community post. First let's talk about the features what they have added. So the first feature is under settings. Now they have added the option to hide navigation bar, so if you go to gesture navigation mode under navigation and settings now you can see there is a new option called hide navigation bar towards the right hand side we also have nothing phone 2 to compare the changes so here you can see that option what they have added which is hide navigation bar and i'm not sure whether this mistouch prevention was there or not because if you disable hide navigation bar this thing also gets disabled so i think this is also newly added along with the hide navigation bar so once i enable this you can see the navigation bar disappears from the bottom side and i think this feature have also been added which is called digital assistant so for example if we have hidden the navigation bar you still have an option to invoke the assistant which is swipe up from bottom corners to invoke digital assistant again i'm not sure whether this thing was there or not but there are possibilities that this thing have also been added after they have implemented the hide navigation bar because there might be people who doesn't know how to trigger google assistant in that place this thing can come in handy and now the next add-on is layer to widgets so first of all if you guys remember previously whenever we used to long press on the widget we only used to get these two options remove and widget setting but now they have added this pop-up menu and it also matches the other applications. Previously, if you see, if I long press on camera application, only on the application we used to see pop-up menu, but not on the widgets. But now nothing have also added this option on the widgets, making it more consistent with other home screen operations. And the last new add-on what they have done, that's there to notifications. So that can be found if you go to sounds and vibration, scroll down going to vibration section now you can see there's an option to allow or disable vibration for other calls and notifications during calls so according to your requirement if you want your device to vibrate during other calls like for example if you are making a normal call and in between you get a whatsapp call so you do have the option to either enable vibration or disable vibration and actually it was a required feature so guys these were some of the new add-ons what they have done now talking about improvements in which they have added the google security patch of first may and the second one they have optimized the auto hdr detection logic i did try to find out how much optimization they have done but it was quite difficult to know the difference but still i'll keep you guys posted in the full in-depth review video and at last talking about the bug fixes so first bug fix is layer 2 android auto i personally don't have car to test out the android auto if you guys had any kind of issues you can let me know what issues were there with the android auto on the previous build and then they say they fix the issue wherein the screen does not automatically turn on after using the power button to turn it off during an incoming call you can see a video which i recorded on previous build that time even if i turn off the screen while an incoming call the screen automatically used to wake up but that's not the case here on this build you can see i'm getting a call and if i press the power button the screen doesn't get turned on automatically and it was also a fix which was required because every time whenever i used to try to turn off the screen while an incoming call the screen again used to wake up so here good job done by nothing later on as per the change log they say they have fixed some chat gpt widgets issue but i still have some issues like for example you can see i have to do multiple swipes to go back to the main home screen and it was the same story on the previous build i'm not sure what fixes they have done but according to me user experience of these widgets is kind of same what i used to see on previous build at last they have fixed an issue where the notification panel narrow when receiving certain notifications so i personally haven't observed this but if you guys have observed then let me know overall i feel now they have optimized the device quite well i don't see much of lags or jitters while using the device but stay tuned for my in-depth review and meanwhile if you guys have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below so guys this was all about the latest update for nothing phone 2a this is your friend ashok signing out and see you guys in the next video Go.